Hello everyone. Um, sorry if you see a balloon bobbing up and down. It was my housemate's birthday the other day. Um, I'm surprised we haven't sucked the helium out of it, to be honest. Balloons don't last very long in this house. So, um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's having a lovely start of, oh, end of uh, October. It's lovely here in England. It's warm um, for an October. Um, all the trees are turning beautiful shades of red and orange, which is my favourite time. Um, before they all fall on the ground and turn to slush and then I'd fall over and scream like a girl. So, I wanted to make another video today um, to kind of pick up from where I last left off. So, um, the last video I talked about um, synchronicities and how me seeing synchronicities led me on, well, led me to the start of a path um, of breadcrumbs. Um, I believe now that the breadcrumbs were placed strategically in my future so that I came across each one at the perfect time. Normally when I was searching because something that I'd just learned didn't make sense or, or I was um, a bit confused about something that I was um, thinking or I was on the wrong wrong kind of trajectory or had stepped off the path. So obviously I'd had these, the synchronicity that happened with my uncle, which blew my mind. And um, I started to look into these things. So I started to look into the idea that um, maybe the that all these things that happen around us happen all the time. So it's not that these synchronicities are just random and supernatural, that maybe they're just always there but because we're human and we're all bogged down with going to work and getting drunk and trying to flirt with someone we um miss all of them so i kind of started to think that maybe it's all because we don't perceive these things maybe we've got a lot of noise going on in our heads and stuff so obviously for a perfect kind of next step in the path this led me to think about ideas of kind of calming my mind down. Maybe it was the fact that I was too busy internally chatting to myself, always criticising, oh, that isn't good enough, this isn't good enough, that person said this to you, that person said that to you. And as a scientist, it that kind of mindset had worked for me because obviously I w would go through um, stuff in my mind after I'd been in the lab or... Um, piece of work that I was stuck with I'd work through all the options about what was going on in my head and eventually I would kind of get onto the right path and then boom it would come to me but that type of mindset isn't conducive to like a calm and spiritual life it's uh, invasive and exhausting and I didn't actually realize that until I started meditating so um, I started looking to meditation, I um, kind of went to some classes to kind of learn how to do it, I kind of didn't really understand the whole process of it, it's overcomplicated online, it's, it's kind of like people don't really understand the whole process of it, but it's kind of just training your mind really, it's... Um, Say I would go to the gym if I wanted to get buff. I've never been buff in my life, but um, I've definitely got a dad bod going on at the moment. But um, I would go to the gym and you'd go to the gym repeatedly. And over time, you'd build muscles or you'd lose weight, all of that. It's the same with meditation. The thoughts bubble up from anywhere. I mean, I've learned now that the force thoughts, especially the destructive ones, can come from outside influences, but I'll get to that in a, in the future. But um, these thoughts come up, they kind of come up, they kind of invasive in our thought, in our mind, and then they disappear. Um, or we chase them, so we'll think about a friend said this to us, and then we'll think about all the times we've been like bad mouthed and all of that and then we kind of follow the thought and then we realise that ten minutes have passed and we're built up anger inside us because it's just like it it's all kind of built up and we're remembering all these feelings and past events that don't exist anymore. 
And so I learned that actually meditation, all it is, is every time your mind wanders, you just bring it back to the the present. And slowly but surely, your mind kind of calms down, it quiets down. And, you know, I was finding some peace in this. And um, I found that my mind was definitely calmer and I was starting to feel different, like I was more contemplative about things. I tried to see the best in people. Um, but nothing more than that. I mean, um, I I kind of reached a point where I thought it was, it was good, but um, I didn't feel that I was getting anywhere with it. Till. So I believe that um, God speaks to us all the time. The rustle of leaves, seeing a signpost that makes us giggle because it's it's exactly the perfect signpost that we that we were thinking of that makes perfect sense. We're on a walk and um, we're about to turn left to go home, but you see a sign that says keep walking, you keep walking, turn the corner, and you bump into a friend that you haven't seen in years, and it's all kind of brilliant and kind of, it's like threads of a tapestry, almost. But we don't, we, we don't hear it. We don't notice it. We just say it's chance. So meditation brings your mind back into control and you start to notice things. The synchronicity's increased. You're thinking of a friend and they call, you know, all this kind of stuff that people would say, oh, it's so, it's a bit kind of uh, paranormal and oh, you don't want to get involved in that. And to be honest, uh, I mean, that might be the case, but to be honest, I was being guided somewhere. And it was, I was being guided to be in a mindset that led me to realise that actually I wasn't enjoying my life. I was very stuck. I wasn't enjoying work. I was just doing it because I was doing it. I was lonely. I lived by myself. All of my friends from uni had moved away. I was having a literally um, late teens, mid thirties crisis. Um, and it really was. It was It was like, well, I'm not getting any satisfaction from anything that I do. And I am the archetypal person who had a dad that left. So I'm constantly trying to overcompensate by working like a frigging dickhead in every job that I do. Um, I'm a yes person, even though I really don't want to do the extra because I've worked for 20 days straight and it's my day off. And and I pissed all my friends off because I'd always cancel on them because I was always working and I didn't realise I I was just low and I sunk into depression and I kind of got to a point where I was trying to make a decision about whether to leave work or not or whether what was going on and clearly where I was at my life was... Um, something was pushing my colleagues where I worked to... It was a stressful time. Um, everyone was being angry at everyone and there was a lot of kind of like toxic personalities going around and it just was building up and it was... I'd kind of gotten to the point where I was almost broken. So one minute, I just need to go and blow my nose.